I'm never gonna beg you for something nah. I can build. Nah. I'm never gonna beg what you for I something I can build. I tell you all the time. That's, I'm willing to go a thousand miles for what you think I don't want to do. So apart from the business element that is very important to people, like, oh, let's pay him for his service or whatever, they know this guy is just going to be a genuine You guy. go the extra mile. I'll now, be honest with I you. I want bro. everybody to You go the extra mile, bro, because you I could literally come, to. sit in your room, and when the show comes, but, but you're like, you're not in your room. You're outside, you're talking to people, you're getting to know the vibe before the show. You're, you're making the vibe right yeah, You're engaging with them and making sure that, listen, you lot, you're here for a reason. Don't dull. Facts. Don't dull. Come and talk. I've, I've always known that. Facts. I've always seen that. And Facts. even Big says Facts. that about you. Yeah, that's Big's my always said. Big's that's always said brother, that about man. him. That's like, and they shock me. Ah, they shock me. They grind, man. That's that my guy, they grind, man. He's over. Genius. He lives in America now, bro. No way. Yeah, he's been living in America since 2020. You're kidding. Yeah, he's songwriting, isn't it? Like, he got signed to like Seven Wallace, isn't it? So he's songwriting. Like, even all them Idris Elba, the black cowboy. Yeah. He's the one that he's writes a lot. He writes. So when you see him in America, he lives there. He's in America. He lives in America. <laughs> he lives in America. That's your brother. Yeah, that's, that's my brother, man. man. Yeah. Yeah, that's another guy that made us comfortable with being African. He's yeah, he was when he was doing the fly Nigerian with Shy SAS as all the fly gym. So you can tell like us, we are foundation. But I don't, I'm just trying to, this new school thing, I don't know. I just, I like to keep my age. I don't want to be 27. No. I'm, I want you to know, be my age. And... But the, thing, the, the thing is, what you're doing as well is keeping your experience, keeping your age, but also being in touch. Because what you talk about and follow your stuff on social media is very relevant to the teenagers, to the grown men and women. And it's, it's a gift. It's not a skill. Thank you. <laughs> so people need, we need to now start to identify people that are gifted with certain things. There's a way you tell, there was a clip you shared last week. I've forgotten where, aha, where you were talking about, you know, you don't want to be in a club and, and all yeah, of and a sudden. there's a thousand people, Bob. <laughs> Bruh, we, you, it's a gift. That same message is delivered every single day by many people on social media. But yours hit every one of us differently. And I feel like when you say something, there's people that want to say it. So they'll say it. Once you say it, they'll now, they'll now spread what you said. So you're their voice. You're the voice. And I realized that, okay, so you're the, you're the voice. Of, that's where the voice of the people comes from. So I'm saying things, what, that, things that people think about. And then they'll now promote that. And it's like, people are like, oh, you gone viral. I'm like, but see that viral part? Me, I don't, I know. don't know. I just do my thing. I go back. I always do something and go back. If I stayed outside the door... I'll be a lot, I always said that. I said I'm afraid of me. I because I know where I could be, but I always, always keep been, I keep it so you reserved. Really know you and <laughs> and Wes is always telling me off. I'm like, nah, he's like, boy, let's do this. I'm like, Wes, see me, yeah. I'm because my thing is everyone around you has to be like that. My partner's not like that. Mm. She don't like this. She's not even online. You understand? So when you have someone that you it's when people see it, they start she, like certain approaches, certain things. It's like, you know what, you gotta keep a certain decorum not to make yourself too out there. No, so I'll do it and I'll go back to my show like, I'm going it. back to work, bro. something you have to be conscious Where's about. Where's the way? We'll still get there, don't worry. Oh my. There's, no, there's no timeline to destiny. And the thing destiny is, go up, no and, way. And the thing is, you have to... And the also, hey, will tell you there's no timeline to, to success. You go up, no. No, you have to be conscious of it as well. There are parts of my life that's completely out there with what I'm doing. Yeah. But there are parts of my life that's completely different and people would never even imagine. Yeah, I, I find that some like, huh, what? <laughs> that guy. Exactly. Well, I've got to so, respect it more yeah. because he doing that you and that. To, you yeah. have to be able to, because you have to be conscious that, again, social media is not reality. Some of us are blessed with age and, and to, to be grateful with a little bit of wisdom to understand that these platforms that we have, we use it to spread well, we use positive. it for the positive vibe. Yeah, it's the positivity, bruv. My everyday above ground's a great day, man. Alhamdulillah. Like, that's my thing, bruv. You understand? So you go from David O, yeah. Whiskid. So yeah. when did then you had Afro Nation? Yep. 2019. Was that the biggest you've yes. done? Yes. To before then? Before then. But I'm, you did it like you've done it before. Because I was there, I watched it. Yeah, thanks. I was there. Thank I was there before. No. Ah, Smith. <laughs> Smith, Junior. <laughs> You got to talk. Junior, yeah. come back. Because I broke down 3,000 kilos of chicken in that kitchen for oh, seven days. Mad, Everybody, bro, I that said as many fainted. That was where I, I not only respected you as a 
businessman, but more importantly, respected you as a hustler. You saw the delivery, Bro, didn't what it? are you talking about? We're there together. Yeah. I, that I was even what did I was interview. Yeah, yeah, I did, That's did what I was eating yeah. every freaking day. We were eating jerk and jollof in the afternoon. We'll have like um The rap. suya, yeah, the rap, the jerk suya rap. And yeah. rap later on in the day. And you were not only feeding the crew, the staff, the entertainers, but you were feeding the channel. Yeah, it felt like 8,000 people, bro. You were doing like 3,000 plates a day. Yeah. But we were getting up at 5 a.m., making the food, coming, doing it, serving it, finishing at 2. Cleaning up. Then obviously, go, go, go. And basically, I was in the show, but I wasn't in the show, but it, was, it got delivered. It was all great, man. So then we had the lockdown. Yes. Lockdown. To so what were you people, doing during lockdown? Lockdown to a lot of people was one of the most negative times that they've ever experienced. But for me... So that was 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2020. yeah, that was 2020. So yeah. 20, it was 2020 March. For me, it became one of the most empowering and inspiring times of my life. Because yeah. number one, um, working became... A lot of people went virtual. Yeah, so they were working from home, yeah. So some of us full-time jobs, we started to add working from home from that. Yeah. Which meant that... Now I spent a lot more time with my family, with my kids. Yeah. You know, now my my baby does not understand the one day a week or something when I have to go to work and don't pick out for You're school. there every day. She doesn't yeah. understand it. Like, what's going like <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. You know, why? You know, now to her, daddy takes me to school and brings me back home. That's standard. And that's, and we that's hang something out you can't for the buy at the time. Can't buy it. Yeah. So that value was added. And most importantly, we started to think outside of the box. So yeah. we thought of other ways of promoting the culture that we hadn't been thinking about before. Instagram Live came Zoom. into existence. Zoom. Zoom was big. Zoom is massive. Zoom went very big there. Instagram then. Live Instagram became Live, crazy. Yeah. And then we understood, for me, that there were many ways of entertaining and promoting our culture that we hadn't even looked at. And once we were first forced into doing that, that now became avenues that are existing till tomorrow. Yes, very true. So that's what I was doing. Very true. Throughout that time, I just started to, we just switched. Just went, took everything that I was doing physically, took it online, took it online. and it existed. And not only was it beneficial financially, it also was beneficial psychologically. Yeah. Because a lot of people lost it. Yeah, they did. They, a lot of people, they, they're not used to being at home that much. I wasn't anyway. Yeah. I, I, I was one of the essential workers because yes. we had takeaway, so, so had I was at that. work every day and business was Boom. humdulillah. <laughs> humdulillah. <laughs> humdulillah. <laughs> Can't say no I more than that, that Bob. So it was, for us, it was just about learning new skills. For me, it was about learning new skills. It was about spending more time with the kids. And, yeah. and for the first time, I understood that, okay, so this my child behaves differently when daddy ain't home. Yeah, because they can't, they can't not behave like exactly. that now. Exactly. You can't get rid of, you can't get I'm, rid of a habit. I'm seeing them sit down with, you know, their mom or their grandma telling them to do stuff, and they got a different attitude on. I'm like, this my child. Yeah. <laughs> You're because like, I'm daddy's hell. Exactly. Daddy's hell. You better so, put your brain in gear. It was a learning experience <laughs> for me, but for most, most importantly, it was an experience that ultimately benefited and created other ways of thinking that I never had before. Yeah, because we can't, when did we come out of lockdown? 2022 yeah. fully. So you're yeah. talking about 20, 2002 yeah. to 2022. Fast. And, you're, and you, what, what people need to understand is, yeah, how much work is done Fast. and step by step, Fast. progress by progress, Fast. constantly nurturing his craft and yeah. gaining more experience. 20 years. Yes, facts. So yeah. now we're in 2022. Yeah. Like, first of all, let me yeah. shake your hand because people give up, bro. I know, Absolutely. bro, people Absolutely. give up, bro. A lot of people... You see, people know. giving up, yeah, is their favourite thing to do. And they'll tell you, oh, look, I just couldn't do it. But when you can reinvent yourself and carry on, that's when you see the substance on the real value of what you're doing. Right. You understand? So now you're in 2022. Yeah. And then the world opens up. Crazy. But you are now yeah. crazy public. Crazy. Crazy. Because I know your page. Crazy. Your page was like, you were everywhere. Yep. So everywhere. how did that go from being at home seven so, days to now being outside again? Once... 2022 came and the doors were open. What we were now doing virtually now became something everybody wanted a piece of. Yeah, yeah. So now events were popping up in Germany, Italy, Switzerland, everywhere. And now they want a piece of that. All the places I never went to in the past, the calls were now coming crazy. The culture started to move. Yeah. African pride had become something people could wear on their chest. 
Whiskey, Burner Boy had become guys and David O and were breaking down doors. So for every door that the artists and the entertainers and the music broke down, the whole culture benefits from Yeah, everyone benefits That's from where it, yeah. Afrobeat is the ex real example of trickle-down economics. For every step higher, the Burner, the O2 Arena, or Whiskey yeah. and stuff, it opens more doors for other people within the culture to really start to benefit. And people like myself that started to host concerts, people now started realizing that, okay, if we can't get the artists at this crazy price, we probably can get a Shopsy Do and a mad DJ And it'll create, it'll create the same experience, hours. yeah. It'll create the same experience. So you've met a so, lot of people. Absolutely, everybody. I, we but you're you're a big fan of Yemi Alade. Massive. I, <laughs> can you see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been. That's I watch you, bro. You can tell, but because so, me, it's hard for you. You know where it is? It's weird when you're online. If you already pay attention to someone, whether footprints. you whether you go to pay attention to them or not, you kind of just keep footprints. up with them. You see it like it's okay, footprints. yeah, you, he's a Yemi Alade. So fan. with people you. like that, with I was speaking to NAX in the car. I just messaged Adekunle Gold. There's certain people that. I, beyond, beyond the business, I also was blessed to create a, 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 genuine, a genuine relationship, relationship with, yeah. And then I saw their come up. And it was a little bit similar to mine. Yeah, because hustle respects hustle. Fact. Hustle respects hustle, people, man. You can't knock like, a hustler. People like they said, yeah, Jay-Z yeah. don't tell you. Can't yeah, knock, can't you, can't, hustle. you can't knock a hustler, man. So you can like, say what you want, yeah. but you got to respect the hustle. Absolutely. You don't, you don't have to like the hustler, yeah. but you got to respect the hustler. Yeah. And that's fact. Hustlers, I'll take that one home. You don't, don't, know, they, know, I they don't even like they don't me. Like me but Just respects respect me. Fact. Now, they respect, they pay me. Fact. The like doesn't pay me. Facts. So you, I like see that, that man, I'm, yeah. I'm a and she fan. turns up for you. Massive she turns fan. up for you, man. First of all, I, I, what I did was, whilst I was on radio at the Beat FM, I created something that I'd never heard of before, called an Afro Queen segment on my radio show. Okay. That dedicated thirty minutes solely so, to playing African women. Women. It's never been done, because that way. I can at least force myself to learn more about some of the women doing incredible things. Yeah, which gives you. Yeah, because I remember when you were posting about the woman that won the award. Yes. Can you say I pay attention? Angie, There's a woman Angie. that. Angie. And people were Father, yeah. I'm involved, bro. I'm yeah. just not outside. <laughs> I'm involved, but I'm not outside. Yeah. And everyone was trying to say, oh, why did she win? And they were trying to be disrespectful. And they had and to come and say, you lot. No, no, no. <laughs> Let you me break it down that. for you lot. This woman's not a joke. Facts. Everyone that was on that segment, Facts. everyone that I was there, the list of nominees, Facts. they weren't touching her. Yeah, yeah, and I Facts. looked at her and I said, yeah, you know what, my man's true, you yeah. know. I ain't going to comment, Facts. but I'm going to learn. <laughs> you see, there's people that comment. And I'm, I'm yeah. a learner. I don't need to comment. Yeah. I've seen it. I've taken it in. Because every, everything you take on is an icebreaker somewhere Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Some, Absolutely. And that's, what, that's how I learn. Like, I'll listen to how information is trade. Information mm. is trade. Information, information is business. Is if you know information, you use it to get through different doors. So mm. if I'm there, I'd be like, oh, they spoke about that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember that from... I didn't learn that. Facts. Another man's experience has taught me Facts. that. But people are too prideful to say, I learned from... Nah, bro, I'll, I'll take the best from you. I'll leave you with your worst. Facts. You deal with your devils. Facts. I want your I'll angels, B. Give me your angels. Deal with I'll your devils. That. I'm going to use that to get into another door because that's the only way we progress. I can't be everywhere. But I've learned from every single thing and I've realized that, okay, he knows his stuff. Right. That's why I wanted to break right. it down. Like when you right. called me and said, into, I was right. like, ask right. him. I didn't that's say no. Yeah, it, from the, even when he Once called he me. Once he told me and said, bro, oh, I went to Food Junk, I said, that's my brother, man. Wes, I'm going to tell that's you. That's my brother, man. If we, I have to, if we, I have to call man twice, I'm not phoning them. Yeah. I keep telling you, bruv. You don't, Facts. nobody phones me more Facts. than once. Facts. If you phone me, I'll tell you yes and we'll do it. See all that two, three times. You know, respect yourself. Nah. Because where you think you are, you turn to Soja Boy nah. and I turn to Whiskey. Nah. And my fans will tell you I need deals for not jumping on my platform there. Yeah. I'm never going to beg you for something nah. I can build. Nah. I'm never going to beg what you for I something I can build. What I tell you all the time? That's, I'm willing to listen, go a thousand miles for bro, what you think bro, I don't want to do. So this is my cousin who is like my brother on this Energy God movement. I tell him, all the, he, he's very eager. So he's coming to me, he's like, bro, you can call this person, you can do this. I said, brother, the only thing I know is brick by brick. Please tell this guy behind the camera, only brick thing. by brick by brick. Brick by brick. And yeah, brother. So the house doesn't fall. And what happens <laughs> that is... That house cannot fall. You go and put one idiot on your house, the house will fall. Just leave that, my house, they build JJ Lee. apart from that... We'll get there. We'll get, when they pay us one day, we'll come back and say, where's well, take your... Don't worry. And apart from don't the worry, brick by I brick... I brought you. You're my guy. You're Nigerian. You just don't the know. The most important <laughs> thing is consistency. Yeah. 
Those names you mentioned, your Yemi Alades, your Whiskey, your Burner Boy, David Otiwa Savage, and the list. But everybody. Consistently. I've seen it with everybody. Those, it's not about hit records. It is about consistently, yeah, consistently putting in good going out, work yeah. and going to push that product. Yeah. That's what Food Junkie does. Let me tell you something that I saw. It was during the pandemic. No, it was before the pandemic. It, it was after Afro Nation when the truck started going out. Yeah, London, yeah, yeah. And you started putting the truck out. Remember, I always used to ask you for your videos on posting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Sean I did, Paul Sean, came, did, did, did post my thing. See, I'll yeah. Post, Sean Paul DM'd me because of that post. Serious? I, I, he DM'd me. Because of Shout that. Shout out Andy, man, Trend Central, man. He he's the one. He'll just because call me. Because of that. I he DM'd you. Yes. So I posted that. I now wrote there that Sean Paul is supporting the culture. Thank you. He now DM'd me and said, Shout out, my brother. We gotta support our own thing. Yeah, he DM'd man. me because of that. So from day one, when you started moving the truck out, a lot of us. We're just admiring from afar because you were the one driving the truck, selling the food. Yeah, yes, bro. <laughs> a ton of staff and whatever, but you always wanted to let everybody know that your boots were on ground too. In case they think they don't, they, in case they, they, they think, think that they're not I cannot do it, I will do it. Hmm. Me, I know how to wipe the floor, I know how to do food, I know how to self. I must do everything just in case you don't come to work, that business can't stop. We can't stop something because of a man. No one likes glass roots. Everything is from the grassroots. If you learn how to cut the grass, it will never grow when the man doesn't come. I'll cut it. And that's what people don't realize. I got to meet so many. I've met so many people from selling food. Why? Food is a man's friend. Everybody good, gotta eat. Good food Everybody is even eat. your best friend. Everybody so the food's eat. not rubbish. It's good. So I've Everybody. met so many people from the food and it's like, yo, bro, that's your thing. Yeah. The, biz, the food junkie is beyond me. I meet people and they're like, oh, that's your no, thing. No, I'm no. like, yeah, food yeah, junkie. yeah. Yeah, I, I like the business being more than me. It's a popular... Me. That's... The, the, the Vans is like a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> so you're... It's like you're working for a celebrity right now. Yeah, Food Junkie is, is there. Celeb. And we now have permanent events. We have permanent bookings. And it's like, wow, you know what? That's a great thing. Shout out my partner. She's... She, they do all the food. Me, I even... Now, I don't... If funny enough, I don't even go to Food Junkie. I go there to take food. I'll give me food and go. It's set up. That's mad. The trucks are there. We've got four trucks now. The kitchens are there. I don't go there. Why? Because I don't need to go there. I've built it. I've left it. I go and do what I'm doing. Everybody run. Everybody manages business. And that's what people don't realize. That like if I didn't do that, I would not I learned how to jerk chicken. I never knew how to do all that before then. You killed I learned me. how to jerk chicken. So you the killed. Caribbean man jerking. I did all them. I did hours at everybody's event. And I used to see people that I used to, I, I said this before, I used to give them champagne, now I'm giving them rice. And some people used to feel like, try and give attitude price, because of it, but I'm price. like, bro, you're yeah, too yeah, young price. to understand. You know, yeah, what price. you're going to want to do years later, I'm starting to do now. Don't worry, just take the rice. The thing is, you've paid me. What you don't understand is me. Just don't beat me, just pay me. You can abuse myself. Just, once you give me money, we are okay. Just, cause why? I can go home and feed my family. As long as I can feed my family, I'm not too worried about what you're saying. Because what you're saying doesn't come inside my household. It stays outside. I go home, my pillow is comfortable, I sleep, and that's that. The guy came to me and said, bro, you probably should get an endorsement with one of these popular energy brands already. I'm thinking, that's a massive idea. That's a good you know? idea, yeah. So, all of a sudden, I get introduced to somebody from one of the biggest brands in the world, and they still, you know, they're talking to me. We had an event in Berlin that I went to host. Malik, I brought Malik Berry, UG. 